air traffic controllers, what job opportunities are available? I'm Jill Horner, this is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Otto Hernandez. He's Associate Dean of Aviation and Technology Studies for Atlantic Cape Community College. Thanks so much for being with us. Hi, Jill. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this program. Mm -hmm. Why an associate degree program related to air traffic control? Why was there a need? Uh, about a year and a, a half a, uh, or so ago, we discovered that the FAA was predicting a, a tremendous need over the next 10 years um, due to a mandatory retirement age that their controllers have. Uh, this in conjunction with the development of the NextGen Park uh, that, that most folks know about. Uh, and the NextGen Park is devoted to air traffic control technology. So we decided it would be a good time for us to investigate a program of this type. We did some research, visited a handful of the schools that actually offered programs like this uh, across the East, and um, it basically decided that it was feasible for us to go ahead and do. We were able to receive some grants to purchase equipment, including a, a very generous grant from the South Jersey EDD, and uh, went right ahead and started developing curriculum. Has this program started? The program will start January 18th, spring semester. It's our first class. Uh, we've, our, we've already opened enrollment for it, and uh, so far enrollment is uh, very good. It's going uh, well, well beyond my expectations for the first time. So let's talk a little bit about what's mm -hmm. actually involved with the program and mm -hmm. eventually becoming an air traffic controller. What's involved with getting that associate's degree? Well, the courses that we offer are courses that we have modeled after basically the FAA standard for what a two-year college should offer. Uh, we made very good friends with uh, Beaver Community College in Pennsylvania. It's a very established program out there. It's, they've, they've been doing air traffic control training for 27 years. And I became good friends with one of the folks there who you know, basically coordinates the program. Brought him out here to help us create curriculum and do some planning as far as uh, long-range planning for what we wanted to do with the program. So how do you make this as real world as possible? Because air traffic controllers are dealing with situations that can be life and death situations. Mm -hmm. How do you simulate that environment in a way that prepares them for when they get a job? Well, the, the technology helps us do that. Obviously, we want to have folks in the classroom that are real life air traffic controllers that can bring that first hand experience. And our goal is to staff the, the, uh, the classes with uh, experienced folks. We just hired our first uh, full time faculty person who uh, has 27 years of experience. Uh, it, additionally, we have just purchased uh, about a half a million dollars worth of simulation equipment. The simulation equipment will simulate exactly what a controller will see when he is at the top of a tower in the airport. The tower is usually the tallest building, not just in the airport, but in, in the entire region around the airport, so that the controller can not, not just see what's going on in the sky, but can see everything that's going on around them, even on the ground. In this era of, of high technology when it comes to aviation, what is then the role of this human being, of this air traffic controller in controlling flight patterns? Well, the role is that they don't expect the role to change much, even with next gen. The, the, whole, the whole idea of next gen is to empower the pilot a little more to make decisions. But the pilot still doesn't have the big picture. The pilot doesn't know how many planes are up in the air at any one time who's leaving, who's arriving, uh, what weather conditions might be impacting the situation. So controllers will always be needed. The, the technology here is nothing more than a tool to assist the, tech, the, uh, the controller in doing his or her job. Now you mentioned that there is a mandatory retirement age for the profession. The age is uh, actually 56 years mm -hmm. old. What kind of demand are we going to see in terms of growth, in terms of people needed for these air traffic control positions? Well, the, the FAA recently released some statistics through the Department of Labor uh, projecting that they will be hiring about 15,000 new controllers over the next 10 years. And again, some of it is due to, to just this number of, of folks coming of age of mandatory, uh, uh, of mandatory retirement. All right, and with a median salary of, of more than $100,000, many people are looking to this as an it's option. A, it's a very attractive career for a young person. Thanks yes. so much. We've been talking with Otto Hernandez. I'm Jill Horner. <laughs>